Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows 10 boot error code 0xc000E on your Windows computer. So if you're coming across the issue and booting up your Windows device, this tutorial will be for you. So if you're able to boot into Windows, that's great, and I'm going to show you guys how to access the recovery options. If you're unable to boot into Windows, First thing I would do is suggest powering off your computer three times in a row, holding down your power button to launch into the recovery options we're about to go into. And if that still doesn't work, you can try downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and boot your computer from a Windows 10 ISO file. So Microsoft has made it a very straightforward process. I have tutorials on my channel about how to download and install that. And again, it's pretty straightforward. And you just would boot your computer from it, tapping F2, F8, Escape key, something like that. But we're going to go ahead, since we're able to boot into Windows and launch the troubleshooting utilities built in. So I'm just going to select the Windows Start menu. Then I'm going to select the Power icon. And now I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard while left clicking on restart. So you can, like I said, there's a couple other ways to get into this recovery options that you're about to see here. So I'd personally suggest if you're unable to boot in the windows, just watch this video for a little bit just so you know what we're going into. So when you put your computer from this DVD or USB, if you're not familiar with the interface, you'll kind of have a little bit of a pretense going into it. So underneath choose an option and this should look very familiar if you're booting from the media creation utility. So if you are booting from the media creation utility, you might as well put it out there right now. So it's going to look like you're installing Windows. Instead of selecting install now on the second window you go through, so after selecting your keyboard inputs and then selecting next, there's an option to install now. Don't click install now. You want to click on the bottom left corner where it says repair my computer or repair this PC or something along those lines. And that should load very similar looking options here. So you want to go ahead and select choose an option, select troubleshoot, select advanced options, and now select command prompt. Use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. Select your user account, and I don't have a password on my account, so I'm just going to leave this field blank, otherwise enter in your password. Now, first thing you want to do is type in bootrec, so B-O-O-T-R-E-C, space forward slash fix MBR, exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. It should say the operation completed successfully. Now you want to go type in bootrec, so B-O-O-T-R-E-C, space forward slash fix boot again exactly as it appears on my screen hit enter on your keyboard please note if you're coming across this axis is denied error now you want to go type in and that's only if you're coming across axis is denied you want to type in boot b-o-o-t s-e-c-t forward slash n-t-60 space and then s-y-s exactly as it appears on my screen and again only type that in if it says access is denied here hit enter on your keyboard now we're going to try re-entering that command so boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then hit enter on your keyboard now it should say the operation completed successfully now that you've done that you want to go type in bcd edit again exactly as it appears on my screen then you want to do a space forward slash export space and now type in whatever drive loader windows is installed on 
So I know Windows is on my C drive, but if you get an error further down the road, you might want to consider changing the drive letter here. So you just would have to restart. So I'm going to select my C drive, which should hopefully be for most of you guys, but there will be a few that have D or E or another drive letter perhaps. And you want to then type in a colon, so one dot on top of another dot, followed by a backslash BCD backup. Again, exactly as it appears on my screen here. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. It should say the operation completed successfully. Now you want to type in ATTRIB space, and then again the C drive, so we're going to do C colon backslash boot backslash BCD. Then you want to do another space minus sign H, another space minus sign R, and another space minus sign S, again exactly as appears on my screen. So ATTRIB space and then put in your drive letter which is C in my case followed by a colon so one dot on top of another dot backslash boot backslash BCD followed by a space minus sign H another space minus sign R and another space minus sign S hit enter on your keyboard now that you've done that now you want to type in REN space now whatever drive Windows is installed on again, so again the C drive followed by a colon, backslash boot, backslash BCD, then you want to do another space, BCD dot old, or period dot whatever you want to call it. So REN space and then C colon backslash boot backslash BCD, then you want to do a space BCD dot old. Hit enter on your keyboard now that you've done that. And now you want to type in bootrec, B O O T R E C, space forward slash rebuild, B C D, exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, B O O T R E C, space forward slash rebuild, B C D. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take some time, so please be patient. Hopefully, it won't take that long. So just give it a moment here. So it's going to ask, add installation to boot list. You want to type the Y key. So I'm just going to do a capital Y here. Just the letter. Don't spell out Y, like W-H-Y. Just type the letter Y. Hit enter. Should see the operation completed successfully. So at this point, you can either just type an exit into this field or click on a little X to close out of the command prompt. I'm going to just type an exit here. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now I would suggest continuing on to your Windows computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.